ADOS calibrations are more than an upsell. We're nearing the point where it's a necessity for your shop to offer ADOS services if you want to compete. More and more vehicles offer active ADOS features like adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking, and you need to stay ahead of the curve to serve your customers. In this video series, we're going to examine what you need to get started with ADOS calibrations by addressing some misconceptions and providing practical steps on how to put ADOS into practice in your shop. Today, let's look at one of the biggest issues, which may not actually be that big, shop space. How much shop space do I need? You're already maximizing the garage space you have for lifts, tools, and inventory. We get it. Plus, ADOS technologies can detect issues that are dozens, even hundreds of feet in front of the vehicle, and very few of us have a spare football field to work with, but there's some good news. Most of the time, you only need a small fraction of that to calibrate a customer's car. In fact, most forward-facing ADOS calibrations need less than 16 and a half feet, some even less than 10 feet, and forward-facing calibrations make up the majority of calibration needs. That means for shops already doing alignments, you can perform more than 93% of forward-facing resets you'll see while doing alignments within a typical alignment bay when you have a good scan tool for dynamic procedures and an aligner and ADOS system that helps you precisely place targets quickly and easily. This lets you start calibrating systems on the majority of OEMs rolling into the shop without any additional space required. The big misconception around space is centered around ideal spaces to perform all procedures for all OEMs. Think of 25 by 34 feet as a good coverage option, 30 feet by 45 feet as a better option, and 40 by 60 feet being the best option for covering every type of procedure. However, simultaneous front, side, and rear views are rarely necessary, as most vehicles won't need all ADOS functions adjusted at the same time. To be sure, there are procedures that require a large amount of space, but they make up an extremely small percentage of procedures that are performed on a regular basis outside of collision settings. And you can always get creative for those resets by moving the car around to new positions in your shop, if you have an ADOS system that's mobile and easy to use. Thus, saving you valuable space in your shop. Of course, you can establish that those small percentage of resets are better done elsewhere, so you can focus on the profitable and higher volume forward-facing resets that you'll see on a daily basis. Staying on the level. Now that we've set aside some space, there are a few other things that your shop will need to consider. Hopefully, your shop already has this, but you're gonna need a fairly flat floor. Each OEM has different requirements for what is acceptable, but flush mount alignment lifts are a great option to provide a flat surface. Surface mount lifts can also work if you have a system that can quickly and accurately account for the height difference. Flat bays are also a good location for some of the trickier target placements from time to time. If your floor is not flat, systems like Hunter Ultimate ADOS can automatically compensate for unlevel surfaces, removing the guesswork. Lights and wall color. Next, you need a moderately well-lit area. This can be one of the trickier aspects since every shop is different and direct sunlight can impact these procedures. Not only that, but the ideal lights in the space should be evenly diffused. The good news is you don't have to be a lighting expert to solve for this. Having a trusted equipment partner you can call to visit your shop and help address lighting issues in person can make the difference in finding the right solution for your shop. Lastly, and perhaps the easiest in most service garages, is a solid, neutral wall color. Walls and floors should be free of geometric patterns, and during calibration, you'll need to clear the surroundings. Having equipment that can quickly and clearly display where targets need to be placed will save a ton of time and headache to help understand when things will work in your space or if you need to make adjustments in the space you have. As you can see, addressing space, lighting, and equipment capabilities is a critical part of getting started in ADOS work, but it's not as hard as you may have thought. Once you get comfortable with those topics, like we did today, you're nearly ready to start offering ADOS services to customers. But first, it's time to get in touch with your local Hunter team for a consultation on which Hunter ADOS calibration system is right for your shop. Thanks for watching.